Season 5, Episode 5, Dewey Wins. As in Mayor Dewey? We'll be fine. I'll be right back. So I'm is he... Okay. Yeah, I would have trust issues after this. I was literally about to say, I would never let Steven out of my sight again. <laughs> like, after everything that's gone down, I can't blame anyone, to be honest. Uh huh. And, uh, I'm really happy to see you again. They were gonna take all those people. They were gonna take you. But what about our training? Stevani, Jam Buds. I believed in us. We could have done it together. Yeah. And even him turning himself in, like, it affects the people around him, not just himself. He's not like, I'm just giving a grand sacrifice. It would also ruin everybody who cares about him, including Connie. So I do understand why she is frustrated with him because he gave up so easily and even though to him that seemed like the only thing he could have done I don't know it's very nuanced I can see both sides this is different this whole thing was my fault but I knew that I could fix it all if I turn myself in and look no one got hurt well except for Lars but I saved him too but I'm hurt yep no you're not you're safe you're mm. Emotionally you know, safe, beat. Everything's fine. It's not, though. Dang. You know, it was a tough decision for me to make, but it had to be done. You don't get it. Nope, he doesn't. What? Also, that was a really good shot, too. He, Steven is so ignorant right now, it is crazy. There is clearly a problem, and he's just kind of brushing past it. Like, that line out of him kind of sounded rude I don't know here let me also I really like the shot going out of focus and then into focus the way he said that but it had to be done like it, it just doesn't sound it, like he doesn't care that much you know what I mean when clearly she does a lot but he doesn't get it Even lions, like, come on, Steven. Like, he... Wow, Steven, that was so brave of you. I'm so glad you're back. What? That's not... And Lars is still in space? I can understand Steven thinking he did the best thing, and it probably was the best thing to do. And he did luckily make it out alive. But Connie, I completely understand her perspective. And Steven just won't even see it, because he's like, He's expecting a congratulations or I'm happy you're alive. And she is happy he's alive, obviously. But, like, she's emotionally hurt by what he did. And he just won't accept that. Yeah, he is. But don't worry. He's with some very nice gems who are on the run from their homeworld overlords. Uh, Lars. Sweetie, he's fine. We can go see him anytime through line. Hmm. Let's do this quick. Hey, good job. Wait, hmm. I can't hang this way. Mayor D's getting blamed for gem stuff, and it's totally my fault. I don't think Connie wants to hang out with you right now anyways. <laughs> so I think you're good, man. I don't know, universe. This doesn't look good. How's this? Oh, that looks great. But I may need more. Oh my gosh, I've never had an opponent before. Even when I ran for mayor of high school, I ran unopposed. Probably because I made up the position. Bruh. I should have warned you about this abduction stuff sooner, then everything would be fine now. I really dropped the ball. You're right, universe. You dropped it. Oh, come on. How about we call an impromptu town meeting on the boardwalk? I'll tell everyone what happened and how you weren't involved at all, and everyone will feel better and vote for you in the next election. All right, universe. 
Chris. The ball's back in your court. Just uh Okay. I don't think they care. Everything was my fault because I unknowingly provided some space gems with a list of names and put everyone in danger. Mayor Dewey would never do anything to purposefully endanger the town. He basically just keeps a low profile and doesn't get involved in much of anything. Yeah, that's kind of the problem. He doesn't do anything. He is hardly present in the show ever. I forget he exists sometimes. Yeah, maybe he should be involved. Who's the mayor? Yep. Bruh. Okay, Dewey, I think I don't think you're qualified for this. <laughs> that is not the solution. Oh man, Dewey, what you are really dropping the bar right now, man. What how is he a politician? Uh, what? Yeah, dog. I think you're probably out for the next election. Pretty much. I don't know many political figures that have made a comeback after getting a tomato to the face. We've just gotta change the conversation. It's also true though, that's the problem. That's what constructive criticism does. We can start with this. How to talk to people? I'm going to get you ready for that debate, even if it takes all night. It probably will. Alright. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and if anyone brings up the alien invasion thing, I wrote a bunch of ocean sound jokes for you to use. Oh, shucks, universe. You're like the son I never had. You have a son. Yeah, that's kind of messed up. And you're just very different from him is all. True. But his son's cool. She is ready. She has a bag full of tomatoes, bro. That's that's top tier hating right there. I respect it. Is the mayor mobile into the only cell tower in town? It's the mayor's fault. Most people can't uh -huh. handle that kind of pressure. But I can. So I clearly not. Yeah. Thank you. You. That's pretty good. Yeah. She's holding up better than Dewey is over here. Dewey just. Do, oh, Dewey's not a bad person. I don't think he is. He's just not qualified for this stuff. I just don't think <laughs> he's qualified for this stuff. I mean, he said he's never had an opponent ever. He just kind of made himself mayor or whatnot. Like. That's crazy. Huh? Good on him, man. Like, he's not a bad person. And you can clearly see that. I mean, he literally forfeited just to let her win because he knows she's going to be better at this than he ever could be. Um, 
Like, I kind of feel bad for him, but also, like, this is probably best for him, to be honest. Wow. Almost like exactly what happened with you and Connie. Wow. Look at the parallels right there. Steven is literally in Connie's position right now. Maybe now he'll finally understand how she feels. Just like Connie. You feel betrayed just like Connie does. Yep. Okay, man. Later. See if she even picks up. Nope. Aw, oh, that's so sad. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this whole episode was just a reflection of Steven finally getting to understand how Connie feels, and I actually really like that. But it also did get a couple things. We now have a new mayor in town. We Mayor Dewey's uh, out now. Um, which is interesting. It'll definitely. I don't know if that'll change that much. Because he was barely involved in the show before. But maybe this new mayor will be a lot more involved. So who knows. But uh, I don't know. I like this episode. It's nice. It's simple. Um, good way to come off the little arc we had. Well, you know, still very much acknowledging everything that's been happening while also keeping this kind of a one-off episode i would say uh although it did end cutting to black so obviously it'll continue but um i just like this overall it was nice pacing it's just a nice coming back to beach city episode after all the events that have happened because ten usually after we have like big events or arcs in the show we'll get like a few episodes immediately after that are a lot lower stakes or like just focus on beach city or whatever and in this case it was um the election between mayor and dewey um you know and he lost it's funny it's called the episode's called dewey wins but he lost and i was kind of expecting him to because he like i said he's not horrible he's not a bad person he's just so underqualified for what he does he should have just have another job and he'd be chilling to be honest he's not like a super corrupt politician, I wouldn't say. He's just ignorant. He's just dumb, <laughs> you know. But, um, yeah, I like that Steven kind of found his way. Or, um, you know, he was kind of in Connie's position with Mayor Dewey, and I like how he realized that uh, and decided to call her. And she's not picking up because she's clearly frustrated with him. So I'm guessing we'll pick up on that in the next episode. But as far as this episode goes, really good. Pays out really well. Simple story. Uh, we now have a new mayor in Beach City, and uh, just good character growth for Steven in this, I would say. Because Steven's usually, you know, for how young he is, he's usually the really responsible one, the respectful one. But in the beginning of this episode, the way he was talking to Connie, he was just so kind of full of himself. I don't know how to best say it. Like, he just couldn't see what Connie was going through. But now he does by the end of the episode, and I really like that. Because he's kind of cocky a little bit, a little super ignorant. Um... But yeah, I don't know. Interesting change from beginning to the end of the episode, and I really like that. Because you don't get to see Steven like that very much. Steven is usually very responsible, <laughs> you know, and very just in the know of how everyone is feeling and how to approach. He usually knows how to pr approach every situation, at least emotionally. Like, he knows the right thing to say and to people, but in this one, he didn't, and I like that. It was a nice change of pace for his character. Um, but yeah, this is a really good episode. I solid. I really liked it. So, yeah. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one.